Hey guys, welcome to Charcoal King. Hey, I got these brand new cast iron bad boys. We're gonna season them up, show you guys how to do that. We're gonna talk about the oils of what to use, what not to use. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I've bent my tongue long enough. You're either with me or against me. If you subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. That means you are willing to listen to what I have to say. If you haven't, press that subscribe button because I'm telling you now, I've bent my tongue long enough. And seasoning cast iron 101, I'm telling you. Let's see what happens. I did not go out and buy a new skillet. So we got these mini oval serving dishes. We're gonna season these just like you would a cast iron skillet. We're gonna show you the do's and the don'ts and all the crap, all the crap that is on the internet that I cannot stand. So if you've gotten to this, if you've gotten to this video by now, you searched way down the list. I can promise you that, but I'm glad you're here. All right, so let's talk about oils. Before we even get started, before we even get started, my oven's at 225, typically, I wouldn't even do that if it was a skillet, but these are gonna be a little bit difficult to heat up on the stove. So my oven's at 225, we'll get to that in a minute. My brain is absolutely scattered. I wanna give you the best information, but there's so much information out there on YouTube, on the internet, blogs, websites, to do, not to do. There's so many theories, or so many grandma did this, or I did this, and this works. If you found something that you like, stick with it. If you're looking to see what's better, if you're looking to see, is it true? What can I use? We're going about to dive into it. Deep. All I'm going to do, let's switch the gears real quick. I'm just going to take these off. I kept them on so you guys will see that's brand new. Just about every cast iron out there, especially with a lodge, has this goo stuck to it. <laughs> After you're done peeling it off, it makes you feel like you've done something. <laughs> I'm going to have to go sit on my recliner after this one comes off. There we go. All right. Soapy water. People will say... People will... Zoom up to me. I want, I want them to hear this. People will say this is the first and only time that you'll ever wash your skillet with soap. Bullcrap. Absolutely bullcrap. That is... That is not true. Do we recommend it all the time? No. You want the oils to stay on your cast iron. But washing it soap is not gonna hurt it. It's not gonna kill it. And if you season it the correct way, good night. This sticker is not coming off. Anti-theft. If you need some help, honey, you want me to do it for you. <laughs> Holy smokes, we got them done. Now, how much you wash your cast iron that's completely up to you. It's how great your seasoning is. Like I said, you don't have to do it all the time. But we're just going to give it its initial wash. All we're going to do is scrub it really good. I've just got a soft rag. You can use whatever. Obviously, you're not going to use an abrasive like a steel wool or anything. But you're just going to try to get the residue off the original grease or oils, whatever they used, to uh, treat the cast iron. These are pretty wet. We're going to dry them off real quick. Fresh water, fresh towel. Really, it's not a big deal. We're going to throw them in the oven. And the whole point for throwing in the oven is so you evaporate the water, you open up the metal, the pores open up, and then it's ready to receive the seasoning. So we're gonna put it in there for about 15 minutes. Now these are lodged, they come pre-seasoned. You can find them all over the internet. While that's heating up, we're gonna go over oils. The do's, the don'ts. And some of the ones that I don't have that I know that are successful, but there is some things you have to look out for. The biggest thing I can tell you when you season your cast iron is you have to understand temperature versus, versus your oil, okay? For example, olive oil is one of the literally the most highest burn point oils there are in the world. It's very good for you but it's not the world's greatest for cast iron. Matter of fact, I would say absolutely never, never, ever, ever, ever use olive oil, period. Do not use olive oil to season your cast iron skillet. The so second, it what has I'm gonna a say low this, smoke point. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna put them in order? We're gonna put them in order, what, what I feel like. 
The second is your vegetable oil. Yes, it can get up to high temperatures. A lot of times you're gonna fry at 350, 375. But as you notice, once it gets to 400 or equivalent to there, it gets very, very broken down. It does not hold heat well. It can hold a certain temperature well at 350, 325, 375. But after that, your oil is gonna break down. Once again, why is that bad? Because when you're searing something in your cast iron skillet, your cast iron skillet is gonna get hotter than that 350, 375. If you season with this, it's going to break down the oils a lot faster and that patina is going to go away. No good. You understand the, the idea that we're going with now? So when you see these other videos and they're using olive oil and they're using vegetable oil, they're using whatever they are. Oh, bacon grease. I know a lot of people love bacon grease. There's really not a lot of things that can go wrong with bacon grease, but there's so many other things out there that have, are so much better today. Yes, our ancestors, our grandmothers, our grandfathers had cast iron skillets and all they did was cook with lard, cook with uh, animal fats and that helped season it. I agree, but the pre-season cast iron that we get today, today is so much different compared to the cast iron that was used a long time ago, okay? This also has a tendency to burn when it reaches at high temperatures. It's gonna be higher than these two, but it's still not as good as we can get to. Crisco, a ton of people, even your cast iron enthusiast will swear by Crisco. I have absolutely no wrong or ill will towards Crisco. The temperature stays higher. Granted, this is the solid shortening. The container does not say how high of a heat it will go, but I know that a lot of people use it. I've seasoned plenty of my cast iron with it. And it does hold the patina very, very, very well. But that goes back to, if you could do this, then why not just up the ante a little bit more? Now we're going to get into a category all to itself. Your grape seed, your flax seed, your avocado, and your coconut oils. I personally have never used grape seed or flax seed, so I'm gonna stay away from those. I know there's a lot of controversy of people using flaxseed oil that's worked, but there's a certain flaxseed oil out there that does not work, and it's a more common flaxseed that you would buy at the grocery store. So you have to be very careful of what flaxseed oil you buy because it flakes off. I'm not a advocate, I'm not a- um, Affiliate. Affiliate, I'm not anything, but I'm gonna tell you right here, it says it, not me. High smoke point, 500 degrees. I don't know if you can get that, I hope you can. I'm a big fan of avocado oil. We've started using it probably like the last year and I'm a huge fan of avocado oil. This is my recommendation for one good reason. Not many times would you eat with grapeseed or flaxseed oil. Uh, not many times would you make a salad dressing. Um, is it a neutral flavor? So I don't like buying something that I can't get multiple uses out of. Hence avocado oil. It's light, it's neutral, it's cost effective, it's not gonna break the bank, and this is my number one go-to. I saute eggs with it, um, vegetables, burgers. I season my flat top uh, camp chef out there with this right here, avocado oil. It does not matter if it's by better foods, but you do wanna make sure you get the one that says high smoke point of 500 degrees. The whole point of this is because when you're using cast iron, it retains a ton of heat. Even if you just set the cast iron on your stove at like a medium low to medium heat, it's gonna keep building and building and building heat. And with your, if you have one, even with your thermometer and you shoot it after about 10 minutes, you're gonna be amazed how hot your skillet actually gets. To do that, you gotta have an oil that can take that heat on a consistent basis, okay? That's why I'm so frustrated I'll never name names and I'll never knock a channel because I know what it feels like to have shade thrown through and through. But I'm telling you, if you go through these websites and you go through these channels, keep searching. I've seen people absolutely douse cast iron. I'm talking about body lather this and only cook it at 350. It will not work. You cannot season something at 350. Your cast iron will reach 350 before you know it, and then it's already at its smoke point. Same thing with your olive oil, same thing with your vegetable oil. There's also people out there that I've seen use coconut oil. 
and they cooked it for an hour on 325 degrees. 14, 140,000 views on the internet. Obviously, a lot of people know what they're talking about in the comments. And I'm thinking, how is this stuff on there? What knowledge did they get this from? That is the world's worst. My rant is over. I'm telling you, do Good, your research. Let's show, them. let's show them how to do it. I cannot stand it. Do your research, find the oil that's good for you, and understand that when you season something, you've got to use the right oil and you've got to use the right balance and the right amount. I'm done with it. Done. All right. Typically on a cast iron skillet, you would have your skillet out, okay? And you would want to do a, um, let me get that heat up just a little bit. You would want to do an egg test because the whole point of cast iron is you want it slick. You want it non-stick. Um, so that's what we're going to, that's our goal today. So I'm just going to get it heated up just a little bit. All right. So if this was a cast iron skillet, all I'm doing today is show you, this is a pre-seasoned cast iron skillet. All we did was soap, water, rinse, and put in the oven um, we just evaporated all the water off of it. I'm just gonna use just a little avocado oil, not a lot. And the whole point is, is I'm gonna show you what a egg looks like before we season it, okay? I am going to hedge my bet just a little bit and make sure that we have plenty of surface area. All right. A little on the low side. But the point is, is all we're gonna do is show you how non-stick this already is. And then we're gonna go through our seasoning process, which is very simple, very easy. It's just time consuming. And there's a bonus. When you're seasoning this stuff and you already have cast iron, it's a good way to go in and put another piece in the oven since you're using all that electricity, all that energy, you might as well do it. All right, so just what I thought. So although it's pre-seasoned, it's not ready to take an egg. And that's why it's so important to season your cast iron. Okay? There's no way that I'm going to see that. No way this egg comes off. Which is why I wanted to show you guys the importance of seasoning your cast iron. And if you follow this method, we're going to show you the difference between before and after. When we're done seasoning this thing, Hockey puck. Shoom, shoom, shoom. That's all you need. So. Hockey puck. Hockey puck. The egg's gonna be sliding around the pan. Yep. All right. The reason why we have this pan right here, I just put a little on it because when the drippings come down from your oil, if you you should not have any. It's always just a um, a precaution. We're gonna put this underneath, just like this on your second level, and we're gonna put our cast iron pan upside down. And so if anything drips, it's not gonna pull, and it'll hit that and it'll save your oven some headache. All right. I'm gonna so to... this is a pre-seasoned yes. skillet. Yes. This is, and this is why, even though it's a new pan, you need to season it. Yes, that's about as bad as it gets. Heck, lots my two or three pans wasn't even this bad. Hmm. Millie. All right, guys. So all I did was just wash out my cast iron again. Um, I've got it over the stove. I just got it on like about a medium low to keep that, um, that temperature up because you want your cast iron warm. That's why we did it in the oven to begin with was it dries out the water after you wash it. But really, it opens up the metal. The metal loosens up and it's able to receive. I know it sounds weird receive the oil and then we're going to blast it in the 500 for an hour 500 for an hour and then we'll let it cool down we're going over all that process so this is a critical process this is this is literally the biggest argument and the biggest misinformation the biggest whatever you want to call it on the internet it's how much you use and how long to do it for what temperature so let's do it my way okay we have avocado oil i just take it straight from the bottle put it in here and i always got it on my little Culinary Command Center over here. Culinary Command Center. That's what I like. All right. I'm not worried about how much I put in there. Use a couple paper towels. Don't burn yourself. 
remember, this whole thing gets hot, okay? The whole thing gets hot. And all we're gonna do is wipe it out, okay? No puddles, and you wanna wipe the whole thing, the edges. Let me get a better paper towel system. There we go. Turn it over, please be careful. Like I said, this is hot. You guys see how much oil is getting on there? I don't even need to put any on there because the point is you wanna build layers, okay? This is not a one-step process by any stretch of imagination. And that's why it kills me when I see people, oh. God. How much does it kill you? I don't think we know yet how much it kills you. I just don't think it's fair to you guys. I really <laughs> don't because I was in that position way long ago and I looked at thousands and thousands of dang videos about how to season cast iron when I first started and struggled. And um, I was just so disappointed in the information that you think that is true. And then the more information, more information you get, the more you realize fed a load of crap. All right. Tell I'm bitter. Same thing. Just be careful with the oil. The oil is going to be hot. Like I said, and all we're gonna do is grease everything down and wipe it off, okay? The handles, the inside, the out, the edges. People talk about lint-free, um, using paper towels that are lint-free and all that stuff. Honestly, I don't know if it makes a difference. It burns off. I think there's more stuff that accumulates and dust and pollen inside your cast iron than it does to worry about if a lint came off a paper towel. So that's my personal opinion. Ooh, it's hot. All right, just wipe it out and you guys can see there's no residual oil. There's no pulling of oil, there's no nothing, okay? So all we're gonna do is take this upside down in your 500 degree oven preheated Okay. And we're going to put them for an hour. Timer, six, zero, 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 start. Just like that. After an hour, all you're going to do is turn off the oven and do not touch till the next day. We're going to repeat this process probably four times. I feel comfortable with four. I've done it with three, but when I've done it with three, I realized that when I put the egg in at first, it slid around a lot easier than it did on those. So that's the information we're trying to give you is you, got, you guys have to make the decision. If you put a preseason cast iron skill on your um, oven or stove and it's not as bad as what it looked like on mine, you don't have as long way to go as I do. I've got a long way to go to get it nonstick. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna shoot for four, try it again, and then um, we'll put an egg back in to see how close we are. With that being said, today's video is done. We're gonna, I'm not gonna show you the, the other process and all that stuff, literally it's, you take it out of the oven once it's cooled down 100% completely, turn your oven back on to maybe 225, and you're gonna warm that cast iron up for about 10 to 15 minutes. Just warm it up, that's all you gotta do. Turn your oven on 500, okay? Add your avocado oil, wipe it all the way around, wipe it out, turn it upside down, and bake for another hour. Repeat that step four times. For me, four times. When that's done on my end, I'll come back to you. Okay. So let's hold up. Okay. Okay. So right now, yes. the pans are in the oven yes. for one hour at 500 degrees. Yes. Or, one hour. And then you turn the oven off. Off. You let the pans cool down in the oven. 100% completely. Do not open the oven. Do not touch it. Don't worry about it. Just walk away. Let it go. Sing the song while you're doing it. Let it go. Okay. Once it's 100% cooled down, which yep. takes a long time. It does. Longer than what you would think. Like maybe overnight. I definitely would agree the next day. That's why I say it's a long process. It's just an easy process. Then you, the pans are still in the oven. Still in the oven. You turn the oven to 225. Yes. Just to heat them up a little bit. Yes, 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. Then you take them out yep. carefully. Yep, with a hot, hot pad because that cast iron is hot. Yep. And then you put it on the stove or you don't have to put it on You don't the have stove. to put it on the stove. I just did that because I washed it because that egg stuck. Okay, okay. So... See, I want to make sure everyone understands. Good, cause, good point. Okay, so we take it out mm -hmm. after 225 for 10 to 15 minutes. Then you wipe down with the oil. 
A little bit. A little no bit. No pulling. No pooling of the oil. If you pull, what happens is that's how you get your cast iron sticky. So if you if you do it right side up instead of upside down, the oils will follow the grooves of the cast iron down and it'll build. And that's how you get your sticky oil. It doesn't burn off clean and it'll leave like a sticky residue. So if you have a sticky residue, you put too much oil and it's pulled. Okay. So yep. then you put, after you wipe down with the oil, then you put it back in the oven yep. at 500 yep. for another hour. Yep. And then you turn off your oven after one hour, let it cool down 100%, probably overnight or for several hours. And then you turn it back up to 225. Your you just want to repeat that process. Yes. Okay. I'm going to say a minimum four times for me because that cast iron stuck like crazy. Okay. So I think that explains it. That's so good. this could be like a three-day process. Absolutely. So we'll be back in three days. I can guarantee you that it will not be cool in two hours. I promise you this. If you turn your oven off and do not open the door, your cast iron will not come completely sealed and back together and like uh, the, the metal um, uh, get back to its like room temperature state. In three, two or three hours. I promise you that. You have to take time to do it the right way. Okay. All right. All right. So we'll see you in three days. All right, guys. So I got a little bit distracted. It's been about five days since I started my seasoning process. Um, we're going to put the egg test on there to see where we're at. I feel pretty confident, but you never know. I could look like an absolute idiot and it would not be the first time. So let's try this. We're going to do a little butter and a little avocado oil. You guys know I love each one's. And it's also a good way when you're doing cast iron to realize how hot your skillet is, which is probably a hair on the hot side for me, but I think it's going to work. I'm sure you remember how hard or how bad the eggs stuck the first time. And you can already see it. Look, I mean, it's already just... Just bouncing all over the place. All right, so while those are going... I'm telling you right now, I've got all the confidence in the world. It's like shooting a three-pointer, knowing it's going in and turn around and walking away before it even hits the net. All right. Swish. Yeah. A little salt and pee. So this is a, the last thing I'm going to say about seasoning a cast iron skillet, which I think is ultimately still some of the most important aspects when it comes to seasoning cast iron. Once you've done your seasoning and you're confident where it's at, it's also very, very, very important to just cook with it. You have to know what to cook with it. Um, I discussed earlier about it is an absolute no problem to wash your cast iron in soap and water. But you've got to take it from here and go to here with it before you start doing it, you know, whenever you feel comfortable with it. Because you want that seasoning to really, really, really stick. So not only is cooking with cast iron important, it's what you put in it. You want to put, if this was a regular skillet, I know it's not a skillet, but the point is you want to cook stuff with fat in it. A lot of people start cooking with bacon. Remember we talked about our oils, about how animal fats aren't that bad. It's just we could do a lot better. Um, ground beef, um, stay away from acidic foods, acidic foods like um, taco seasoning or uh, spaghetti sauce. Um, anything like that that has a high acidity rate uh, because that helps break down your oils as well. So when you season your cast iron, you've got it to this point, you're confident in it. The next step is basically just cook, 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 cook. And I think as you guys can see, that is one hell of a difference between the very first egg we put in there. Ooh. And now. So you guys can comment below, tell me how bad of a cast iron seasoner I am. Tell me there's no way in the world you can't use this. You always use this. I want to hear the comments because I want to start the dialogue. There's crap out there and I want you guys to know that once you get to this page, it comes down to two fundamental parts. Make sure your oil is a high temp oil and when you season it, you got to make sure you're seasoning to the smoke point to... I don't know what the terminology is, to cure the oil. There, I'm sure there's a culinary term out there which helps dry the oil out, gives it to a smoke point, and then when you're cooking with it, you're able to keep the oils and the patina on your cast iron for a lot longer. Thanks for watching. Press that subscribe button, pound that notification button, and share it with somebody that's got a cast iron skillet that's having trouble seasoning their cast iron skillet because I just showed you the proof is in the egg. Peace. Let's eat them.
Hockey pucks. Look, 